What's up, you guys? Welcome to All Things Adrian. For the very first time, I have with me here, Mariah. I, I feel like, I'm not gonna lie, what? kind of over the lit thing. Cause I feel like yeah. lit. Throw it out, toss it out. Never what, care. What do we, like, I never know what to say. That's gonna be a I'm whole just like, part of this. This is my A. Yeah, we're gonna have a whole discussion about this, but in reality, on technicalities, this is my stepdaughter. Stepmom. Step there we go. That is but the relationship. You know, I feel like that usually has a bad, like, connotation. connotation. So we'll get into that in yeah. just a second, but it's her first time on my YouTube channel. We're gonna talk all things Mariah today, and I'm super excited about it. You guys, remember to hit the bell. You guys know you need to comment, you need to subscribe, you need to hit that button so you know when I be posting. It's a bell. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. Next to the subscription. Ring the bell. When I watch oh my it, God. I, that's do you how feel I like I'm you. screaming at you? I do talk I very loud. Not. So, like we said, technically Mariah is my stepdaughter. Right. We currently hate the term. I just don't, I just, like every time someone asks me like, oh, oh who's that? I'm like, this is my Mariah. It's, we're really awkward. We're just like, this is my A, this is my Mariah. And they're like, okay. What do you think we should call each other? Comment like, below. Think? We should come up with a whole new yeah. branding. Because the lip the mom, lip daughter thing, I feel We're like lit is lit. already out of it's style. Out. Like it's it had its moment. It's so gone. let's move on from that. Yeah. We're rebranding ourselves. <laughs> but this is Israel's oldest daughter, just to get the facts straight. Yes. Mariah is 23 years old. She lives in Nashville. We are both incredibly short. We are the same height. We're the same size. Same size. Same shoes, shoe clothing. Size. Just how I know God loves me and God is real. Do I go shopping? No. Do I go to the closet? Yes. yes. Great budget tip, have the same shoe size as Adrian. There you go. People normally, what do they think when they meet us? They think we're sisters. Because we usually have the same hairstyle, parted on the middle, bun pulled back. Possibly yeah. the same shoe. Yeah. With that being said, people think we're sisters. All the time. And we don't tell them they're wrong. So we're like, yeah, people are like, oh, you guys are, because it's like in passing, we're not gonna stop and explain. We're just like, yeah, that's what we are. It got weird one time really bad. We yeah. were in New Santa Mexico. Fe. Yeah, we were in New Mexico. New, Me New Mexico? We were in New Mexico. No, Santa we were in Fe. Santa Fe. Yeah. And we were checking to a hotel. We can do a little gym, a little sauna, a little pool. A little spa. And this lady was so sweet and she was mm. helping us. She was so nice. Okay, this is a weird thing. For anyone out there who has children, comment below if you find yourself referring to your husband or boyfriend as daddy when talking to referring to me yes. like get daddy's backpack. I'm like, daddy oh, you're right I'm back. like, yeah, like, like okay. That. If you yeah. have children or if you have stepchildren, like, do you find yourself being I like, like everybody oh, daddy's that. over there, or yeah, tell daddy that you want to do something, exactly. or tell daddy. And so this woman heard me saying that, and she goes, Well, one, one, she was really sweet, and she was like, you guys are the s nicest sisters. You guys get along. And we're like, thank you, yeah. And then I was like, hey, dad, something. And then she was like, daddy, something. Yeah, make sure daddy tells and you. And then before we left, daddy and you showed up. You kissed on the lips. And the lady was like, Hun. Confused, she disturbed. She was really confused, and she went from being like, you guys are so nice, to she was like, is, is that everything you need? Okay, good, bye-bye. It, it was, was so, so awkward, awkward. But we could not stop. When we feel awkward, we start, start laughing. laughing. So we're just like, <laughs> At like, the most inopportune time. Not explaining anything, not like, oh, no, no, no. We were just like, Like, just dad, kidding, we're not yeah. sisters. No, it's actually my husband. We were like, that's my dad. Is. We have that mom, thing. daughter, yeah. so complicated. If you're out there, lady, we Gladys, are not a creepy Gladys, family. You were real nice. We were. We should have explained Gladys. We're sorry. Our bad. We actually do have a huge age difference. Yeah, but we carry the one. Oh, guys, we Wait. went to school. Guys, we were both homeschooled. Pardon yeah. us while we figure out the math. If I'm 36 years old and you are... 23. But you'll be but 20. But I'm turning 24. And I'll be 20. <laughs> I'll be 30. 13 years. 
<laughs> oh, we're 13. 13. Thank you, yeah. Lana. So we, we are 13, 13 years <laughs> apart. I just did that math so fast. And me and Daddy are 12 years. See, me and Israel are 13 years, <laughs> are 12 did. years apart. She always does it. But we get along really well. We yeah. like the same things. Yeah. We want to do the same thing. When I was dating Israel, I actually knew Mariah. We had actually met because we were all friends. Briefly. Briefly. But yeah. like, I never like knew you. Yeah. It was we more like, like, hang out. Was hi, like, hey, nice to meet fan. you. Chuchi. Oh my God, love you. Okay. Like that. Like fangirling, but like, be cool, be cool. How old were you when I met you originally? 14. She was 14 years old when I originally met her. Hey. And then when Israel and I started dating, you were like, like 18, 18 going on 19. I was so... It was the summer of 18, just about to be 19. I, I was met, so nervous. I met you me. as his girl, as like... It was like a different thing. Totally it different. It was so different. I was so nervous. You were nervous. I threw a whole party. You were nervous? The party was for me? So here's the thing, Mariah. I, I thought you were just having a summer soiree. No, I threw a party. Why? For comfortability purposes. I respect that. Even though it like, and then you meet me and you're like, oh, she hates parties. Yeah, and but I, it, I was like good, it was like it a was good, it was like a good vibe. It was like a mixer. We called it a summer soiree. It was very, yeah, it was, whole thing. it was a vibe. I just wanted you to like me. Cause I, I wanted I, I you to like me. I I liked you. I knew I loved you. Yeah, but that's just, it's always, for anybody out there, it's always awkward at first. Yeah. And I think that that's okay. It's almost accepting yeah. that like, this isn't going to be fluid. Yeah. It, it, it is gonna be an awkward beginning. Cause it's a transition. Yeah. And you have to like consider, like I was thinking, I wonder how she's feeling. I feel like yeah. you were thinking, how would I be feeling? Yeah, you wanna be respectful. Yeah. You wanna like, Make sure that everyone's comfortable, but at the same yeah. time, it's it's just it's 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 an awkward transition. Yeah. So like, don't try to make it perfect, and just know that if you intend on being married to this man forever, I'm gonna know there's you time to make it right. Well, it didn't take a lot of time. No, it took like ten minutes, and I remember what it was. <laughs> we like. I came in and you were like, "Hi." You had just gotten your eyebrows done. That's what I was gonna say. And she looked at me and she was like, "Your eyebrows are, are amazing. amazing." And I was just like. My eyebrows are amazing. Phenomenal. And then from there, no. like that was it. Yeah. Like it was the eyebrow. So eyebrows are a great, you know, icebreaker. <laughs> we bonded Wait. over eyebrows. Then we went upstairs and I had tons of beauty products that we I had like to get rid of because I was cleaning out. And makeup and makeup. I was just like, we liked the I'm same a things. We love Girl Audrey here. Hepburn. We love old Hollywood films. Like movies. Like books. Like in the her house, books. like her, like candles. Faye's personality is always all over her environment. So when I came into her home, I could recognize things that I love too. So it was like conversation so came easy. And then as it unfolded, we just realized like we yeah. were obsessed with When her. I was dating Israel, he literally would tell me, this is so strange, but like, my daughter and you have so much in common. Yeah. Like she likes the same things. Or I would pick out something and he'd be like, oh my God, my daughter just told me that's in style. But that also meant so much to me because I recognized how important his relationship with Mariah was. And I think when you are looking to be with somebody, you look for those qualities in them that makes you go, wow, that's so dope. And for sure, one of the things that I found the most attractive was what an awesome father he is. I love him so much and I love you so no, much. No, they this are like out. the dynamic daddy-daughter right. duo of all time. Like the- We threw you in the mix and now it's like, where it's perfect. So he calls her Maisie and she yes. calls him Popsicle. Pops for so short. it's like Pops for short. So Maisie and Popsicle forever is actually the name of this episode. The hashtag. I think when you came into his life, yeah. I wasn't, I just was like, I hope that she makes him so happy. That's all you want as a kid. And I would just see him around you and be like, he's literally glowing. You're both glowing. And that was enough for me to be like, I love her. I love it all. And. That's and then we became a squad. Yeah. And, and we've like, been inseparable yeah. now we're a ever package since. Deal. Weird things happen Weird to stuff. us. It, it's always because we're doing too much. Like we were like, we need a candle to be but Okay, we were in we were in New York, staying at our favorite hotel. The and, Ludlow, shout out. Yeah, we love you guys. And Daddy left town for one night. So of course I'm not gonna like stay in my room alone. I'm we're having a sleepover. 100%. So we had a whole day. We like, we went shopping, we did like yeah. really fun stuff. Yeah. And then we were out and we found this beautiful candle. So we're like, let's buy this expensive candle and have yes. it burning in our sleep because we deserve that. You know, burn yeah. the good candles. Burn the good candles so for us. So we're like, so we yes. bought, 
bath scrubs, <laughs> deep <laughs> conditioners, and we each took our turn in the shower doing like this whole spa well, first, day for ourselves. No, we got way too much stuff. Then we were unpacking yes. it, and I was like, I'll jump in the shower. Then we ended up talking for four hours. Correct, that's Then us. it was like two in the morning before we did any of the, yeah. our treatments. We end up doing like our little spa we situation, spa. and then we go to bed, we put the good candle. candle. Pretty we're like, PJs, we're like, satin. Are we the queens of New York? We're, uh, we're, oh, we had silk pillowcases. Silk pillows, silk, shout out to Slip. We, yes, we fell asleep to like old movies. Yes, wake we're, up in the morning. We are glowing. I went to go meet daddy, you stayed yes. sleeping. I had a doctor's appointment, you went yes. to go have breakfast with your girlfriend. We meet at coffee. Coffee. On my way down, I like, this is so scary, you guys. I sneeze and I'm like, ka And I look at my hand and there's like black. This is actually a PSA. On my key. hand, yeah. This is what this is it's all very for. informative. So I'm like, I'm dying. Yeah, pretty much. I just need to call everyone I love and let them know. I'm like dying. Something's black wrong. Stuff coming out of my nose. Yeah, consistently. It's like so, not one time. Like, so I'm I run, I'm running down. The coffee shop is in the bottom. I'm like running, I'm calling Adrian. I'm like, meet me in the bathroom of the coffee shop. Meet we me. We go there. into the bathroom of the coffee shop. I bring she coffee. literally goes like this to me. She goes. <laughs> like, you you too. Too. Oh my we both God. had black soot, soot out of our in our nose. The barista was like, "Why? Like you're carrying something?" No, we something couldn't in the get the black shop. out. It was like deep, deep. We're googling like what to do, guys. The candle. You are not fine, supposed fine, to fine, fine, sleep fine with to a perfumed candle on. We slept with it all night, and we had just breathed in. Our black noses sweat. were black. So we clean it out. We clean it out yeah. as you would. And daddy comes down and we're like, we had certain our nose telling him, and he's like, no, you don't. And he we're like, no, he but wouldn't we believe did. us. We did. Like, look, I'm getting tissue out of the trash. We're like, like, look, it's black. Like, this was in guys, my nose. He's like, you guys always are just like, you're always making stuff up. Like, we that's swear. Not funny. We're like, guys, no. this is a PSA. Don't Do not burn, sleep don't with a candle on. Blow that thing out. Don't burn the good candles. Only for three hours three at a hours time. Three hours and move on. Do you remember the headphone thing? What? <gasps> Why do we always, like our story, oh I promise you my God. Are real. But this okay. is definitely your fault. I will take the candle thing. <laughs> no, the candle I thing. I should have read as a Virgo, I should have read the fine print. But the headphone thing, guys, the headphone thing was all you all day. So here's the thing. I had AirPods once upon a time, right? My husband bought them for me. This story, I, I put them in my ears. I got on a flight, may have dozed off. One fell off. We never found it again. The headphones never worked. Got a second pair. Just AirPods. I lost those somewhere, but I can't quite remember. Then I had a pair of Israels, and I think I left them somewhere, but I don't remember that either. Anyway, we were in Arizona. And Israel was having a meeting with a pastor. Yo, we, and we were yeah, like, we're gonna work out. We're going to the gym. We're gonna be fit. I'm like, I need headphones, but you know, I lost all of mine, so now I need to borrow Israel's. I'm like, and you're he, not borrowing no, mine. Not no happening. Way. So she, he literally is like, Adrian. You're gonna lose them. You're gonna lose, you're gonna lose them. And she was like, I'll buy you another pair. You don't think I can buy you another pair of headphones? I'm not even gonna lose it. Mariah's with me, she's responsible. I'm like, me. That's and literally no, me, literally. Her imitation. She was like, I can't believe you would even say I would lose a headphone. That's like, not I'm gonna happen. Very responsible. I'm literally just sitting there like, are we gonna like go to the ellipticals or not, nah, right? So he we gives the headphones very hesitantly. He's like, Mariah. Watch these. And, I'm and like, I was arrogant on a whole other again, level. Like 23, psh, 36. I got this. You know, like I'm expecting you will look out. Yeah, you're for like, the she got this. We go to the gym. Which I, is far. We had far, a very far, far. long, it was a freaking pilgrimage. Okay. We drank through That's sprinklers. Anyway. Okay. Okay, so we get, I get to the, to the gym elliptical an machine. Hour later. And I literally. We don't the workout. She gets on and goes, oh no, oh no. And I'm like, what are you falling? I've literally like, okay. So I'm like, what's wrong? What's wrong? And she's like, the headphone, the headphone. I lost the headphone. I lost Guys, the headphone. Just walking, walking from, from the, the room, room to, to the, the gym, gym. How? I lost How? one of the headphones. We walked in, like, we weren't doing cartwheels. Mine we were just blown. walking. We're scouring the gym. Oh no. We proceed to walk back to the hotel room back on our like, hands and like knees. This. At night. At night. With the, like, 
using we the like, light of our phones. We were like searching. People were like, um, are you okay? Are you okay? They'd be are like, you are you okay? And then be like, are you aging? <laughs> I then realized we have to go back we to the room. To we're not going to find them. And literally, you would think we did a bar class, a Pilates, we were a boxing class. In the time. We were dripping in sweat. Like, in the heat in not... Arizona, on our hands and knees, we walked to and from at least four times yeah. total. Yeah, that so was we, a bigger workout than we actually we intended. Could, I feel like the Lord did that because he knew if we went to the gym, we, we would have like, just sat there and been like, wow, I'm true. so sore. Get back to the room. I was expecting to be like, hey, we lost the headphones. The guy. We're so sorry. A proceeds to act literally so weird. She's like, I want to pray before we go in. God, give me the words. So she's like, release my ego. And I'm just like, so that I can have this conversation and say, when I'm wrong, I say I'm wrong. So then we walk in. And we're, we thought we left it in the room. So we were going to search the so room. We're search. So we're like, hey. He's in there having we're a meeting. Our workout look, scout, looking around the room. Yeah. And he was like, are you guys okay? Like, you're acting super weird. And we're like, we're no, fine. we're fine. I had to not only confess in front of my husband that I had lost the headphones, but also I also did it in front of the pastor. So I said, pastor, I truly apologize. Um, we're acting strange because I lost the headphone. And he was like, okay. He was like, that's what you, he, he didn't like, even react. No, he was Anyway, like, we went to Best Buy the next day and got him a new pair, but we but went we through were a acting, lot. We were acting really, we should have just like gone we back had been and be through like, a lot. We, we lost a headphone, but yeah. again, when I explained, we looked everywhere, daddy was like, you guys, stop lying. Like, we, I, we, I know you make oh, up stories. Oh, he thought he we were joking. Because our stories are outrageous and this would happen to nobody he, else. He thought it was a joke and that at some point we were gonna be like, <laughs> No, Just we kidding, like, no, we have we, them. That's why we we're have like, dirt and grass stains on our No, we really outfits. lost the headphones. Yeah. Oh, we got them another that pair. That was a really long way and to say me, that story. I mean, you had to be you there. We got them another pair? Okay, yeah. yeah. We are the yin and yang to each other. Yes. So Mariah mm -hmm. talks sense into me, level-headed thinking, and I tell her to throw caution to the wind. True. But so, it works out. It actually works out perfectly. She's a perfectionist. She overthinks things. Mm -hmm. I am like, ah, whatever. Whatever. It we lose, we lose. We lose because I'm like, if we lose, we lost. It's over. Yeah. I'm like, the glass is empty. Adrian's like, but the glass is full and you can hydrate your skin. You and know? I'm like, the glass is going to break. But at the same time. And I need that. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm like, you got this. You could do it. And I'm like, you should think this through. You're like, Adrian, I think we should I'm think like, this through. I don't know. I think that I would just say like, I really do call you every day for advice. Like we talk every day. Yes. And I 100% And call even if you we didn't day, physically talk, we were text somewhere. message yeah. or we speak to each other in memes. Yes, on you Instagram. You will send me a no. meme and I will die no, laughing. We have had literally a, a conversation really on the XIXI account, another conversation on another account, texting at the same time yeah, and on just, speakerphone, just like as you know. But no, we talk all day and I really do. Like, even though you are like my stepmom slash whatever new name we'll come up with for that. You got this. I always say that you're my best friend because I feel like how our relationship yeah. works is what would classify a best friend. We talk every day. We're super I honest guess, with like, each I other. I tell you everything. Yeah, if there's, there's something that's like know. majorly concerning me or even if I'm making big life plans, like buying a home, like those, I'm literally like, Mariah, where should we live? What should we do? Do you like this? Is this an ugly house? Like, I want her to be a part of all of those major life decisions. That means so much to me. I think any other person out there that has a step parent, like, could relate that that means so much to you because you really do just want to be a part. I think some people feel like I don't want to get left out or left behind, and yeah. you literally do the best job of like including me. I, I love, love you kid. so much. I but love you do. kid. I wake up in that the morning. so funny. I wake up in the morning, I make my coffee, and I FaceTime you and daddy. And we have morning FaceTime date, morning prayers. So it good. It really grounds my life, and I'm super thankful for you and for keeping it real with me at all times. I love you. Sometimes really real, but I need that. Did I mention we work together? That's yeah. where this really gets interesting. <laughs> so. In case you were wondering why, if Mariah is on Instagram, I tag her as at XIXI, my jewelry company, it is because 
This is the genius brain behind all of our social media. She also runs La Voots, which is our bag company as well. She runs those socials, but more than that, she's also a creative director on our team. So earrings that you have absolutely loved, like Star of Wonder, were actually things that she had the idea of doing. So we collaborate, we come together, we'll be like, okay, this is what we're gonna do. Mm -hmm. You helped so much with so many collections. I think it's because the collection it's stuff it's... I would wanna wear, but I can't find, so I'm like, can we make this because I can't find it anywhere? Yeah. But I mean, we're super collaborative and it really happened on accident. It wasn't like a job offer and then like an official thing. It literally would be, randomly sending ideas back and forth. Like, like hey, what does this logo something? look like? Yeah. Oh no, it is written as what the yeah, logo yeah. you came up with. You picked that Just logo. Just random like little things and then it turned into, we were doing it all the time. Yeah. So it literally turned into my full-time job, but it's my dream job and I, I can't yeah. believe I get to do it. She is a social media manager, but also she can do creative direction. When we do photo shoots for XIXI and for Lavoot, she is literally the person standing behind the photographer like, this is my vision, this is what I want it to look like, and I love it. She's got, she literally has an eye for beauty on a whole other level. So a lot of you guys are like, well, why aren't you on Instagram? And you're like, cause it's my job now. Cause it's now. my job. I'm so over Instagram, guys. Like, I love running it for other people. Yeah. But for me, I was like, I'm low key boring at home. Like, there's nothing for me to show you. But guys. she's nothing stunning. And I just was like, I'll just do this for other people. Cause... And I will convince her to launch her personal IG. This is just beginning. I'm excited. We have uh, so, there's so much coming, you guys. Us and Lana. We need are a on name. For what? We need a name. It's like, if there's Maisie and Popsicle, I'm gonna need something. Mm. <gasps> So excited. So comment below and tell us what you think our name should be so that this yeah. is an ongoing thing. More episodes with Mariah. Let me know. We love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Peace out. Don't forget to subscribe.